Need race. Ace Five Studios has race. So this is Celeste. If you download the file, you should have two C40 files, one with the standard materials and one with the octane ones. Uh, this thing here you see in the bottom is just a notification thing. All you have to do is click this thing and I'll click on these. Now make search on attributes here. And let's start with the face. So when we zoom in, we have some controls here. It's not too much. It's basically the same ones that we have on Mia. So if you watch that video, pretty much set. But basically, you know, you grab these, you can move them around. Uh, you can also grab individually each controller for the eye. But as you see, if you have a problem with selecting the controllers because you keep click, clicking on the mesh, what you can do is you go to layers and here you lock the mesh. And now you can't select the mesh. You can just click the various controllers. If you want to reset some a controller to back it to its original location, all you have to do is press Shift C and go reset transform. It used to be called reset PSR in older versions, so it might be that. Basically, you, you can just either bind a shortcut to it, or what I do, I just drag it out into the interface. That works too. Shortcut is more useful, but depends how you are. And then you just click on it and it's back to normal. If you want to reset all your face controllers, so if you have like them in a weird way and you want to bring them back to the original, all you have to do is middle click, because when you middle click on an object, you will select all the children as well. And then just click reset and it'll bring it back. Uh, the controls are pretty self-explanatory. They all just move controllers. You move this guy down to close the eyelids. Um, you move this one up and down to move the eyebrows. You move it left and right to change the curvature. Exactly the same thing here. Uh, these guys, you move them up and down. Don't move them too far because it's a smile, but if you move it too far, it'll, like you can, there's no limit, but it won't look natural, obviously. Most smiles are pretty subtle. Uh, if you use this little control, you can open the lip a bit. And if you use this control, you can slide the mouth in totality, depending on where you want it. So it could be like a chewing animation or something to that effect. Uh, this one obviously opens the jaw. We also have the little pink here controller for the tongue. We can move that around. We can also move it out, but it does do a bit of a curvy thingy. So don't push it too far. Uh, let's move on next to, we have the controllers for the body. Uh, it's fully okay. If you click, click the screen one, it'll control your upper body. So you can rotate the upper body. Uh, if you select the little yellow one on the hips underneath it, you can just wiggle the hips. Very handy. Uh, the abs and legs are okay, as you'd expect from any character. Don't forget when you use these controllers, don't forget to move the shoulders as well, because that's a pretty big, like that's a pretty important feature of any kind of pose. Otherwise, it'll look unnatural. So if you want her to be waving, you want to move the hand up. And you want to make sure the shoulder is also kind of going up, and then it'll look more natural than if you just have the shoulder in a default position, because that looks kind of wonky to make sure to move it up a bit. Uh, we On the legs, we have in attributes here, we have heel rotate, we have ball rotate, and we have toe rotate um, and toe wiggle. Here you go. We also have IKFK controls. If you want to see how they work, first watch the video about IKFK. I've got it explained for all my characters. It's the same. When you uh, animate the legs here, for example, if you want to change, you can rotate the whole foot to change the direction of the knee, but you can also grab this individual controller and you can adjust the, the direction of the knee if you need to. So you have that kind of freedom there. Next, we have selection sets. So very handy. Uh, they're in here. Uh, you can select them. Sometimes you need to select two, for example, hips and IK legs, and then you can rotate basically your whole body. But make sure when you do rotations, uh, for example, uh, when you click your rotate tool here, you have per object transform. It might, depending on what version of cinema you have, it might be in different tabs here, but it's basically, it lets you rotate on the axis of each selected object, not all together. In this case, I select everything and rotate all together. So we untick this. And then as you can see, we're moving the legs and the hips together. So also don't forget, remember if, when you switch the move tool, it'll also remember this. So this way, it's an easy way to do that. The main thing I do with this really is I have the, uh, left fingers and right fingers. So when you want to rotate them, if you want to curl them all together, you select them all by double clicking on the uh, left fingers here, and then you hit rotate. And if you rotate right now, it'll go all like this. So this, <laughs> this is not what we want in this case. So what you want to do is you want to rotate, you go per object transform, and then you just click the green one, and then you can curve them in and you have like an instant fist. It's very handy. You can do the same thing with your waist. So if you select uh, these three, and when you rotate, you also get a nice curve going on. And reset PSR, obviously, reset transform, bring things back to where they were. 
Uh, next, we have SDS. Uh, this is, right now it doesn't work because we've locked the mesh layer, but if we unlock the mesh layer and we double click here, we have all our subdivisions. And if your computer isn't performing too well, you can always just switch the subdivision viewport to zero and then it'll still render with the subdivisions, but in your viewport, things will move much smoother. That's pretty handy. You'll notice there's intersections, but they're just in the viewport. When you render, they shouldn't be there. So let's turn our SDS back to one. Uh, next, we have hair. In your uh, mesh stuff, you have Celeste rig hair, head stuff. And this head stuff, basically, you could drop anything into this null. You can drop hats, cubes, whatever you want. And they will just follow the head. And right now, there's hair. So you have this hair that you can see right now. And then if you hide it, um, we have this hair. And then we have this hair. And then we have this hair. And then we also have the default Mia hair as well, which has a bit of a controller here. Uh, the hairs don't have dynamics right now, so you've got to manually animate the ones that have rigs, but um, the dynamic hair is a whole different animal. It's not supported in the rig right now. Uh, so we have clothes, obviously, which are also, if you go in the mesh category, they're just below here. Uh, you can see they're all subdivided. You can hide them and show them as you want. They're all connected with surface, I think, except for maybe the shoes are potentially, the shoes are weight painted on. Uh, but basically, yeah, it's, you can hide them and then you can go, you can select a different one. You can hide the leather jacket. You can hide the tank top. Um, everything is separate. And you can even add your own clothes. Like if you make your own clothes, it's a tutorial on how to attach your own clothes onto the model. That's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And as always, remember, if you need rigs, Ace 5 Studios has rigs. We have free rigs up here that you can use in your personal projects. We have Mari and Mia and 5J Pack for explainers and arms and legs. And Maria has a bunch of cats and animals you can use. And here, if you go through, Mari has a full face rig. Which you, can, you know, it's lots of functionality. You can use them in your projects. Mia is also fully rigged. Um, you can use her as a host or to sell your product. Um, also have the arms and legs pack, which you can put together to build your own characters and you, they're already rigged. So you don't need to do any weight painting. You just have to stick them together and ready to go. Or you have 5j people for your explainer videos and other stuff. So don't forget to check it out and see you next time.